So with the pneumatic cylinder, it's impossible to hold a mid-stroke position. Why? Because if I'm going to push on this, uh, it's going to have a certain position that it goes to, but I'm going to be compressing that air and it's going to move. If I add more force, it's going to move some more because I can compress that even more. And then when I release it, it's going to go back to its original position. But Corey, you told us that we could accurately position a cylinder mid-stroke. Yeah, I did, didn't I? So, how are we going to do that? We're going to take two cylinders and put them back to back so that the rods are sticking out. When we do that, we can stroke one cylinder and get, you know, say it's uh, three inches of stroke. Uh, we can stroke that, we get three inches. If we stroke the other cylinder as well, we can get six inches. And there you go, I stopped at mid-stroke. <laughs> So if we need another stopping position, we can get another one by using two different stroke cylinders. Let's say instead of two three inch stroke cylinders, we use a two inch and a four inch cylinder. All right, at this point I can stroke nothing and I get zero inches of stroke. I can extend the smaller one and get two inches of stroke. I can retract that one, extend the other one, I can get four inches of stroke. Or I could extend them both and get six inches of stroke. Now I've got two maintained positions 